Welcome back to my garage. Today we are going to put this into this. But first we are going to finish the, the bottom of the cylinder. So over here I have my uh, cylinder holder jig thingy mounted on the lathe. Normally I would mount it using the, the stud holes like, like this and then just tighten it here. But uh, as I am going to be machining this surface, I can't have anything in the way there, so we should figure out something else. I'm going to use one of these uh, hold down thingies and so clamp it down. I will just do it and show you. So yeah, now I'm going to machine this down to make this all level. So that came out nice and, and flat, you can uh, barely feel that there is a difference, but that, that, uh, that it's not one piece here, you can feel a little bit because it's uh, this is just JB Weld and, and but other than that it's uh, they have a little bit different finish. But other than that, uh, you can't feel anything. So now before I put the sleeve in, I'm just going to clean this up properly. So that there's no oil be between the cylinder and the sleeve. And when I, while I do that, uh, I have my uh, rotary washer uh, it's warming up. So while I do that, I'm going to uh, round the edges the lower edges of the transfer ports a little bit while I have uh, easy access to them. So yep, let's go do that. <laughs> there we go, that feels uh, pretty nice and smooth. So uh, I think it's just a matter of um, washing both the sleeve and the cylinder and uh, then it's going in. So the cylinder is clean now, so I'm going to put it in my little oven here. Put it on uh, 175 degrees Celsius. And uh, it's going to sit here for uh, an hour or something. I will uh, put the sleeve outside. It's uh, minus 25 Celsius outside now, so that's uh, cooler than uh, my freezer. So uh, in an hour, this should be good to go. See you then. So it has been about an hour now. The uh, cylinder is warm and the sleeve should be cold. It's laying outside. Got my uh, my trusty oven mitt, so uh, let's try and get the sleeve in. Wish me luck. Put the sleeve in the inner shoe in one of my uh, snow boots. Keep it cold. Cylinder. So here we go. Oops. 
so far I've never had a, a problem with the alignment. Crap. Fail. Ooh, I'm glad I got it out that easily. On the next try I'm going to not use my, the oven mitt on my right hand. Try not to burn my hand, but I couldn't see what I was doing and it was just a little bit misaligned. So it's uh, better to cool the sleeve again and uh, try again. Okay, let's try that again. Perfect. Yes! So I, I put it uh, in my press now to keep some pressure on it so that the sleeve doesn't uh, rise while the cylinder is cooling. But it uh, looked pretty good. There was a little bit of match boarding to do on the transfers. But uh, it looks uh, like it all uh, lined up pretty good. So, yeah, success. Going to let this uh, cool by itself for a while and I'll uh, get back to it uh, in a bit. So, the sleeve is in and it went great. Couldn't have gone much better. It uh, aligned really nice. Uh, I will try to show you. Uh, the transfers they are aligned almost perfectly there's like a couple of tens of a millimeter to to match port only so that should go uh, a lot quicker than the last time when I had about two millimeters to match port with my uh, little Chinese dentist tool Intake looks like this. So, uh, well, a lot of work to do here, of course, but uh, really easy access, so that should go pretty quick. The exhaust is the same there. There's a little bit of uh, matching to do, but. Or, uh, couple of a millimeter or two uh, but it's the same there really easy access so yeah quite happy with the results so now uh, I think that's it for today I have some other stuff to do tonight so thanks again for watching subscribe comment if you have a comment or a question see you next time Bye.